In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a form in Power Apps. Now, a form contains a number of card objects, and each card can contain a text box or another type of control, such as a drop down box, to display the data values. Forms and cards provide a framework to retrieve and update data. We can quickly build systems and screens this way with little to no code. Now, the first thing the form is going to need is somewhere to save the data, and that's called a data source. So the form needs to connect to a data source, and that could be something like SharePoint, the Dataverse, Excel, SQL Server, or whatever data source is supported by Power Apps. Now, to save all the data on the form, we just need one command, and that is called Submit Form, and in brackets you put the name of the form. So here we can see I've got one here called Edit Form 1, that's the form I'm going to be saving, and it's within that Submit Form command. So all the information, all the text boxes and the drop-down boxes, all the information in that form is going to be saved straight back to the data source by using that one command, Submit Form. So you don't need to know lots of long-winded programming languages and things like that for forms. Forms make things much simpler. So now let's go and create a form. Right, so here we are in Power Apps, and I've got a form here called Course Booking. So I'm going to create that form from scratch to show you just how easy it is to create forms. So if we do a new screen here, blank, so now we want to add a form. So what we do is we come to the insert command here and along here you can see forms. And you've got two types. You've got the edit form and the display form. The edit form is if you want to actually add or update data. The display form is just going to give you a read-only um, form. So you won't be able to enter any data into that at all. So we're going to be picking an edit form, and I'm just going to move that down a little bit. And it gives you this symbol here, which is asking you to connect to the data source. So just, just click on the form here. On the side here, under the screen I added, screen one, it's got the name of the form. So this is going to show me all the controls and everything within my form. So on the right hand side here you've got the properties of the form and here is where you add the data source. It's currently showing none so I want to actually add a data source and here's the one I want, course booking. But if that wasn't there I could click on add a data source and at that point because I'm using SharePoint I could type in SharePoint select the SharePoint connector and then I want to connect to a site. So here's my sites here. I know it's this one so I selected that and this shows me all the data sources in that SharePoint site. So the one I want is called course booking and these are actually lists. You know in SharePoint you can create lists and that becomes your data source. So lists are like tables in other systems. So the one I want is course booking, select that, and then click on connect. And then Power Apps goes away, finds all the fields in that list, and drops them on the form. So instantly, you can see you've got a little form there that you can add data to. So if I run that now, you can see there's nothing there. Well, that's a common thing in Power Apps and they haven't managed to fix it as yet but what you can do there is click on the form so you highlight it and then click on the items property here on the top left click item and you just want to put the word defaults and then the name of the data source course booking like that so now if I run the form you can see I've got all the controls there so we could go ahead and type data in here, select uh, 
course names, for example. There's the course names. I've got a date picker that I can use to add dates. Toggle buttons here. But there's no actual way of saving the data. So what I do here now is I could add a button. So if I go at the top here, select insert button, select button, and there it is. So at this point I could change the label, call it save. And now remember I mentioned earlier that to save it we just need one command and that's called submit form. So we first need to find the form name. So if you click on the form here on the edge, the form is called form one here. So I'm going to copy that. And now if I click on the button, and what we want here is the on select event. So when somebody selects the button, we want it to do something. What do we want it to do? We want it to save the form. So that command, as I mentioned, is called submit form, followed by the name of the form, form one. And that's it. So by clicking that button, that should save any data back to the SharePoint list. So if I run the form now, and I put in the name, Mary Johnson, just put any number in there, course name, Spanish improvers, Twelfth of October. Put any date in there. Thirteenth. Leave it like that. Now, if I click click save, that data should now have gone back to SharePoint. So here I am in my SharePoint site, and I've come to my list called Course Booking. Remember, this was the data source that I selected. And right at the bottom here, you can see the new record that I added from the Power Apps form. So here we are, Mary Johnson, Spanish Improvers. And if I click back to the form, we can see there's the record that I added. So forms there, they make adding and updating data very easy. You don't have to do any coding really and they're quite powerful so if you get to use them I can highly recommend them for building an application. So I hope that's given you an idea of how to add a form in Power Apps and how to save data. If you like this video please click the button to like it or why not subscribe to my channel or you can even download my free Power Apps for Newbies book at www powerappsfornewbies.com